Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are doing a winter wash on my M140. It's got that thin layer of road film all over it and I like to keep that at bay. It's very cold out there. It's just started raining the moment I film. I'm gonna go through all of the gear I've got over here and then we're gonna get stuck in and wash this thing. Get the outside done, get it all washed, get it inside and then hoover out the, uh, vacuum out the inside and just give it a wipe down and then that try and keep it in the garage as long as I can and use the blue lose use the blue peril until the conditions get a bit better let's get stuck in
What are we using today, guys, to do this winter wash on my car? Well, here's all the gear there. We've got my awesome K7 over there and my little stall. Now, first up, we're gonna be pre-washing. In here is Gion foam, the last of my Gion foam. Um, and in here is M Mystic Bubble shampoo. So pre-wash, shampoo, and I've put the shampoo, mixed it out roughly sort of, you know, an inch of product to that much water. And I can attach that straight, straight to my snow foam lance after I've done the pre-wash and use my shampoo through the cannon. And I haven't got to mix it all up and slow myself down. So it's worth checking out. This Mystic Bubble is a good, good, really good shampoo. I think it came third in my shampoo video, but when you get up to the top there, echelons, any of them would do, any in the top 10 would do. But anyway, um, we're gonna fill this bucket up with hot water and we'll use the hot water to clean out our mitt. Um, you know, and then we can go back and then wipe over the shampoo. The shampoo will be all over the car. We've got various detailing brushes. I'm using the detail factory brushes here. So I've got two hogs hair ones. This little one's quite useful for the alloy wheels, funnily enough. And then I've got the two, like, softer ones, you know. Uh, and I just have that in there as well, which is quite useful. I'll probably stick a microfiber in there. I'm using the Woolly Wormit mitt, just because it fits on my hand and this is nice and safe. And I've got all those grit guards in there, you know, like 500 different grit guards, but there you go. I have Built Hamber Atom Mac, which is an anti-rusting product, which I will just spray on the alloys after I've pre-washed and all that sort of stuff to stop them going orange. Um, I don't always do that, but I tend to find it lasts for a few washes. You know, it might last one to two months where I notice on subsequent washes they don't go orange. It's a very cheap product, it's concentrated, so if you mix down a litre, it'll last you for months. Uh, Surfex HD from Built Hamber. That's a tool, an APC tool that's very cheap and I'll go back to. Here's my wheel buckets in there. I've got quite a lot of brushes actually. I wouldn't normally have that one in there, but I'm just gonna try that out again. I'll be using that mainly for the barrels, that for the little bit of the caliper where I get right in there, that for the faces, that for the tyres. I tend to prefer this on the tyres, that little tough shine brush, I find it sticks into the rubber a little bit too much, which is useful if you've got a massive tyre that's filthy and you're going to hammer it, but just, I don't want to scrub the surface of the tyre that hard every time I wash it, so this is just a little bit gentler and it will just work better. And then this one for the um, wheel arches. Those br brushes work great. Um, then I've got just my general pile of microfiber cloths in there that I'll be using. And of course my inter-detailing drying towel with my big boy, big boy buddy blower, which is good. Still not sure about this. This cable thing is a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying, I'll be honest. I wish if this big boy buddy was battery cordless, I think it would be better because I just grab it and off I go rather than having to tread on this long cable. Um, and I put this long cable on there, which you're not supposed to do. Anyway, who cares? Uh, and at my detail spray, I'm going to be using Car Pro Elixir and Gion Tire Express. The car is currently protected with the Adams Liquid Ceramic Wax. Um, everything you see here, guys, I'll try and find it and put a link for it in the description. Uh, most of it is all available. So uh, let's get stuck in. It's freezing out there. I do not want to be out there for hours and hours. I want to be out there for about half an hour. Then the car comes in and I'll quickly hoover out the inside, give it a quick wipe down and I'm done.
Okay guys, that is it for this one. I wish I could say that was good fun. That was one of the most frustrating car washes ever. It kept raining, stop raining, raining, stop raining. Just, and trying to juggle three cameras when you're filming as well. I was getting really, I was getting yump. And every time I came in inside to get out of the rain, I would kick the bin. And one time I kicked the bin and hurt my foot. So it was just one of those days today where, you know, it wasn't good. But then eventually the, the sun came out. It's not actually that cold. And then when I got through to the drying stage of the car, I was filming less and starting to enjoy it a little bit more. I love cleaning my car sometimes. I don't like cleaning it this time of the year and I don't enjoy the process of filming it all the time. Anyway, this wasn't a detail, this wasn't a contamination, this was just a reasonably thorough wash. Um, and I've spent a lot longer than I wanted to on it because of the filming and the conditions. But anyway, uh, after washing the car, we have um, dressed the new Kumo tyres and we've used the CarPro Elixir, which I think is a great product. Um, you have to be a little bit careful with it, don't use too much. I like a slight damp applicator and I spread it around, for, form that film and then buff it. And you'll see a sort of like a hazy, streaky thing going on, but you kind of, you just buff it once and then like kind of leave it. And if you fo form the film, it will disappear. And you could just kind of do that around the entire car and then at the end come back with a completely clean microfiber and just go over it once more just to make sure there's not any little wet bits or excess product that might smear. So when you come back for that final buff, it should have by then gone all nice and silky smooth. And um, yeah, the car looks great. It's very hydrophobic as well. So um, I'm, I'm pleased. Apart from that, guys, on the inside of the car, I've literally spent two minutes. All I do, and I do this most times, is I just hoover it out have a wet cloth with a bit of detergent in it, wipe over any grease marks where my arms and fingers have been, um, try and just wipe over the, the, get the dust off the dashboard, and uh, maybe wipe any bits of leather that are dirty, and then just dry anything that needs to dry. It's important to get the inside dry in the winter, or else you can, all that moisture that you put in there can help promote kind of molding and stuff like that, and you'll get steaming windows on the inside, so, you know, always dry it all out. Um, I've not deep cleaned it, my pedals need perhaps a little bit more attention, but it just keeps on top of it. I never really need to work that hard to clean the inside of this car because I keep on top of it, even in the winter. So, the um, car looks amazing now, guys. I'm just gonna try and keep it in the garage for as long as I can and enjoy it. It's glossy, the paintwork feels all smooth. Even the lower bits now, there's no like dirt embedded into them. And I love it when the car looks good. So, um, it's been a great day. Um, I've got to go upstairs now, chop all this together and edit it. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope this video is useful. I've built up all my piles of microfiber here and my stuff and I'm going to go and wash those as well. And I like to work clean and put everything away. Clean the buckets out at the end so that when you go to clean the car the next time your bucket is kind of not going to have any dirt in there. And just generally, you know, trying to keep things clean and wipe down all my surfaces when I finish. There's no dust in here and Stuff like that, just try and keep it a little bit tidy. So it's never ending, is it guys? The trick is to try and enjoy it as well. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon on the Forensics Detailing Channel. Bye for now. <laughs>